Hey, I am tired. I have spent the last five hours going over someone's code, and every single remote event they have made had the potential to break the game with some unimaginable exploit. So, instead of spending another eight hours trying to fix the rest of it, I'm making this video. So, without further ado, welcome to the do's and don'ts of remote events. So, you want to make a remote event. To start things off, a remote event in Roblox is just an event that communicates between the client and the server. All this means is that the client can tell the server information, and the server can tell the client information. Now, what's important is that you realize you should assume all information given to the server from the client has been tampered with and will be tampered with. I cannot put into words how important it is that you remember this fact, because if you don't, you end up making problems. <laughs> so, taking that into consideration, most of the don'ts in this video will cover remote events that don't take that fact into consideration. So, what don't you do? When creating a remote event, you don't want the server's event callback to take parameters for important things such as cooldowns. When you let the client tell the server how long cooldowns are, they can make it zero and just spam the event. I don't, I don't know why that's so hard to understand. Another important thing to take into consideration is not letting the client tell the server how much of anything to give to them. Not money, not power, not coins, nothing. Because they can just make that number infinite. And they will. They will make that number infinite. And they'll cause you a headache because you have to patch it. And then on top of that, the one thing you must never do is allow the client to pass a function to the server and have that function called on the server. I cannot express enough how horrible of an idea this is because it's like making a back door for your own game. Don't. Don't do it. Okay? I, I don't do it. But, that's enough of the don'ts. So what do you do? So, what I want you to do is think about remote events more like a client asking the server to verify information. So, what I mean by that is instead of telling the server how long cooldowns are, how much of something to give, all you're doing is letting the server know, hey, the client wants to do this. Is that okay? An example of this would be something like a combat remote event. Instead of letting the client tell you who they are attacking, how much damage they're doing, or how much stun to apply, all that information should be stored on the server side, and the remote event should verify all the information prior to doing what the client wants. So, in conclusion, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe, because that would really inflate my ego. That's about it. See ya.